Welcome to 25th of Mass Quality Blessing. Now, whenever we are in introversion, we feel that sweetness of silence within us. And that introversion is not just something which you do outwardly, that means keeping quiet or mum or silent, but it has got something to do with inner silence, that means lesser number of thoughts. And generally we have thoughts which are thinking about what will happen in the future, why did things happen to me like this in the past, and what will I do now. So when we are thinking about the negative aspects of the past and also carrying it in the future, then that's not introversion, that's overthinking. So God here tells us that may you sit in the cottage of your forehead, that means either soul I'm sitting over here, this is the cottage God is calling it, of your forehead and experience the sweetness of introversion as a true embodiment of tapasya. God says the children who control their words and save their time and energy, who control their words and save their time, because of controlling words, that means you're already thinking very less, so you're saving a lot of time and energy. Here energy is even this vocal energy and thought is also an energy. Automatically experience the sweetness of introversion. There is a difference of day and night between the sweetness of introversion and the sweetness of words and interaction. So you can talk sweetly to somebody, but then if you have malice in your mind, automatically those sweet words have no power with it. An introverted soul constantly sits in the cottage of his forehead and experiences being an embodiment of tapasya. That means while looking at everything, hearing everything, that soul is focused. On the Supreme Creator. So God then says he observes silence. Now why he? Because soul is a masculine energy whether it's in a male body or in a female body. So he observes silence of the mind with no waste thoughts and silence of the mouth with no words. That means they're able to make out everything which is happening around them they are able to bring about a compression in the thoughts, that means concentrated, compressed thoughts. Otherwise, your mind can be running anywhere and everywhere that's not compressed or concentrated. So they are able to see things through the divine eye of wisdom, that means their third eye or the sixth sense, when they are in constant communion with God. So they have to automatically assess the situation in their mind in the intellect and automatically when they assess the situation on the basis of virtues and values and power, they are able to make the words shorter. That means they are able to find shorter route to get anything done or to handle any situation. In this way, he experiences the alokic sweetness of introversion. In this way, he experiences the alokic sweetness of introversion. Now, alokic means worldly. Alokic means spiritual, that means beyond the physical world and the physical body. That is something beyond this loka and that is got something to do with the Param Dham or the Mukti Dham. So God says that this is a method for you to learn how to be in constant communion with Him so that you use yes less words and yes you use very less thoughts too know more about this, you're most welcome to attend a session of 7 days at Brahma Kumaris. Mushanti with this.